All right, we have a bank robbery in process. Progress. Get it out, too. Ah, happy time gaming. 16 years ago, you followed for the limo stuff. Love the game, the WoW content. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've done any WoW content. There probably won't be any more either. You know. Got a good long ride with Eve. Timber time, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Trying to get here in time to help. I don't know if I'm going to make it in time, though. It's this next system, but... Got him off of there, but Betting, betting that this guy probably just came in here from filament or something. for him to steal in here because it looks like it cashed out right after he delinked. Poor Dami, he was a rat. Deserved to die.
Everybody's pretty much leaving now. Such a long trip. I guess to go help out, clear on the other side. Here, but I'm in a battleship and so I mean if I make it to the fight I'll definitely be able to engage in the fight but with something so big you run the risk of not getting there until the fight's over <laughs> you know I still have a couple more jumps to go.
drive active. D, do you think this guy's a multi boxer? Multi boxer one, two, three, four, five. I'll bet you he's a multi boxer. Uh, late to the party, but in time for cleanup. Eh. Yeah, you know, cleanup is fine. I'll I'll clean up, but I'd rather fight than clean up. Hard drive active. Why are we going out here? Here's a whole bunch of other Ishtars. People be working it out here, I guess. about multi-box or not could be deception you are right never trust anyone in eve including your alts This one is way far out. This is our outer boundaries for sure. I'm all the way out in Cobalt Edge. system supposedly is it.
All right, we might be here in time. We'll see what's in here. I mean, if it's just loaded with hostiles, I don't know what my choice is going to be, but... Um, Uh, it's gonna be f oh, it's CCP again. Really? Bomb drive active. Wait. That other person I saw just as I came in there that appeared in local in the last system um that character's in a prospect i saw them a little while ago it is clear Drive So I guess it's just clean up now. Got my salvage drones out. Working these.
I should be going after this last one that's within range now. So far, the salvage hasn't equaled very much. You know, you, the elite, you know, frigates, elite cruisers stuff. I mean, you can get five, ten, sometimes as much as like twenty million in salvage from them. And I'm always wanting to build stuff. salvage. Oh, they're having a hard time salvaging that. still trying to salvage it that's kind of crazy doesn't usually take this long and this many attempts if you haven't gotten it by now you usually you've destroyed it did i enjoy crowfall i did enjoy crowfall and i wish it was still around um you know the company that took it over said that they hope to bring it back but i don't really know what's going on because they, um, we no longer have a business relationship with them, with the new company. And so, um, you know, I don't know, I don't know what the status is. And so, um, you know, maybe they will bring it back. Hope they do. I'll play it some more. So, yeah. I did actually enjoy it. It wasn't just because we were doing business with them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have ever played it on the show if we were doing business with them, but I wasn't having fun with it. That's kind of the barometer. Active you know, that you guys can use to gauge whether or not I like a game is if I'm showing it on the show. Destroyed it. Okay. 
warp drive active. So there's another elite cruiser. Got like five million salvage out of that. Here's a battleship. The player Rex. They can have a good amount of salvage in them. There's Dead Crowfall still. Yeah, I don't think I've got it installed anymore. I don't know. I guess I'd have to look. So, is a hostile, nope, you can only approach. Can you warp to that? I can warp to that. I bet that would get me close enough. Pick that up. Well, maybe stop playing WoW. Well, you know, WoW is a uh, theme park. And uh, so, drive you know, uh, see in EVE, it's sandbox. And uh, so player generated content is king in here. In WoW, you're waiting on the devs to create content. Uh, content. And so, you know, it's like, um, I ran out of stuff to do. That's probably the the uh, most accurate. And you know, then when when you're uh, like you come back to it because there's a new expansion and. You know, it holds your attention for a day or two, but then you just feel like you're kind of back to the same grind. And so, yeah, it's, I just uh, found myself done. It's just like UO. Gosh, you know, UO, that was one of the first games I played, and first MMO I played, and really, really enjoyed that uh, and stuff. But, you know, after time, after a period of time, I mean, I, I played for probably five years and then lightly for another five years and then haven't gone back. And, you know, the last time I went and looked at it and everything, I was kind of like, God, I remember all the fun times we had. But was I making those new fun times? No. So, you know, just time to move on. So while I have a spot in my heart for UO, uh, I'll never play it again.
I am oddly enough. Um, gonna be working with on another game. Uh, someone who was in the original UO Dev team, and uh, be working with them again on another game. But nothing to nothing to announce on that yet. It's not an Ultima game. It's something different. All right, it's a long trip back. I don't have anything out this direction. My my closest thing is six jumps away for anything that I have in any stations. I'm way out in the boonies. Do I still have the pinball machines? No. No, when I moved out of Oregon, I got rid of them all before I moved out. I'd love to have a nice pinball machine, but I don't have room for it at the moment. Well, I do in my office here, but my house is 124 years old. And um, we'd have a really hard time getting, getting pinball machines up the stairs. <laughs> and I know how heavy they are. I used to move them around all over the place and stuff. I wouldn't be able to do it on my own. Not these days. Maybe when I was 25. Not these days though. Um, so, and I do not want to hire a moving company to, <laughs> to move a pinball machine up to my office here because you know, eventually it'd have to be moved back out. Maybe if my office was on the first floor. Helped a, a neighbor get a machine up to his fourth floor apartment never again. Yeah, and even the the you know normal pinball machines they're heavy, and then if you get a wide body, they are really heavy. That adds like another 80, 100 pounds because not only do they have more volume in the case, case size is bigger but there's more equipment underneath it and everything. And um, so in wide body be like aliens, um, Star Trek Next Generation. Um, I think Adam's family. Now what I have thought about is a virtual pinball machine. I saw somebody selling one about 100 miles away from me and they're wanting 1500 bucks for it. And so it's like a real pinball machine cabinet and stuff and it has all the buttons and stuff, but um, it's got a screen for the play field and a screen for the, um, the back and everything and a computer. Um, I've thought about that. Drive active. But 
I don't know. I don't have any. I've got other things to throw 1500 bucks at before I throw it at a virtual pinball machine. It does feel wrong. Well, you know, if you're making a compromise and you can do without the tactile of a regular pinball machine, it may not be bad. So, um, No. And fifteen hundred bucks is what you'll pay for a pinball machine that's in decent condition. Problem with uh, that is st uh, Steam Pinball Sim lost half the boards due to licensing issues. Yeah. Map drive active. Oh, my wow swords? Nope. I gave them away. I did giveaways. Some people got really lucky because they go for like two grand now for the original ones. There, there has been more sets of them made, but the original ones, the first run, they're about two grand. If you don't mind a revision that's older, you can get it for 500 bucks. We just Newt just appeared there. I'll drop what little loot I've got off. Drive active. So I'm thinking that might be about time to build a dread for my character here. I think I finished my my training on it. Oh, they killed that guy that walked into that other, warped into that other system right behind me. He was just in an Enyo. Huh, wonder what he was doing out here. How's Eve solo these days? You see me flying solo. It's, it's really good. Let's uh, 
Let's look here. Let's see what my mastery is. Mm. Which one of these did I do? Now all of a sudden I don't remember. There we go. Phoenix. Got Mastery 5 on it, so... The holes. 4.2 billion. There's just one for sale. And then there's the Navy issue, which would be even more expensive. Yeah, almost 6 billion for the hole. See here. So I only did Caldari, apparently. Why I did that? I feel like I might have liked to fly a Moros. Now, it's going to take a bit more money for me to to uh, to do this. And, you know, a good uh, Phoenix Navy issue fit is going to um, cost a bit. This guy's saying he wants to sell this. Six billion. Yeah, I'm not trained up for it in this character. What would it take me to get into uh, Moros? They're ugly as all get out, but um, you know. Be fun. Mastery five, two hundred fifty one days. And then I have to train up Galante Dreadnought up to five. I have to buy this skill, 195 million. What about like a, a Lancer for taking out um, for Taking out uh, infested carriers stuff. I don't know if I want to put that time in for that I, I'm I'm gonna end up building either a, a Phoenix or Phoenix Navy issue um, it's gonna be at least five um, gonna be at least five billion if not seven or eight billion, if I do the Navy version. I 
I need to put some more money together. Yeah, the Navy dreads, they added them a while back. Um, and then the Lancer dreads were added. See if they added any new packs here or anything. Not see any. All right, if you're uh, watching on YouTube, gotta wait for the next episode.